2.0 or the Unreal Editor for Fortnite has finally been released. It's only been out for about a week and a half, but people have already started making some insane islands. And here in this video, I'm going to showcase and give you the codes for the best maps currently available, ranging from things like super fun party games, all the way to a map where you can actually use the Zapatron. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, the next time you log on to Fortnite, this'll happen. No! But if you do hit the thumbs up button, the next time you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. Choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Now, before we get to my favorite creative 2.0 map of them all, we have our very first map. This one is actually very, very awesome, and it goes by the name Motocross Stunt Champions. As the name implies, you're essentially just driving around this island doing a bunch of motocross stunts. However, the cool part about this is the dirt bike you're riding on is actually a modded version of the dirt bike that we've never actually seen in Fortnite. It's essentially way, way faster. You're not able to crash it or anything like that. And the main point of this entire map is to just drive across the desert island that is absolutely Absolutely massive like in all my time playing I literally wasn't able to find the end of it and do as many motocross tricks as possible in an attempt to get the highest score out of everybody it's definitely not the craziest map we're gonna be covering in this video and it is ultimately pretty simple but I still think it's worth checking out because driving across the desert on this super fast dirt bike is honestly a ton of fun and if you want to play this map you're able to see the code for it on your screen right now moving on to our next one this one is known as the arcade droopy flops and this one really blew my mind because it's as soon as you spawn in, you actually arrive in this super detailed arcade where you're able to see a bunch of custom modeled arcade machines, including this little basketball machine. They also have one of those like 3D VR arcade machines. Most importantly, if you turn around and actually go to this little arcade machine that says Droopy Flops on it, you get to start playing essentially a version of the old game Flappy Bird inside of Fortnite. And this looks absolutely insane. Like this doesn't look like Fortnite at all. And I can only imagine how much work this game was to actually code. I would say it's a little easier than the original Flappy Bird because there's a couple times where I was pretty sure I hit my head on one of the walls, but it didn't actually eliminate me. You also have the choice to choose your character, but be warned, if you do that and you're on console, it'll likely end up crashing your game. Ultimately, I think this is one of the best maps at showcasing the new abilities of the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. If you want to check it out for yourself, the code to play it is on your screen right now. Moving on to our next map, this one is actually the back rooms. And if you don't know what the back rooms is, it's basically an on online urban legend that started somewhere on the internet back in 2019. It's gotten pretty popular over the past few years, and I'm honestly not surprised at all that this was the first thing that somebody thought to make. And basically, this map is essentially a horror island. You start off by spawning in in this mysterious area where everything is extremely dark. Now, they do give you a flashlight, which helps out a ton, but there isn't exactly a point to this island other than to just go around and explore. But I do know there are some secret Easter eggs on this map. For example, I was able to find this one we were actually able to climb through a vent using a brand new feature available in Unreal Editor. But hey, I don't know about you, but I think it is actually super cool to finally get to experience the back rooms for myself. And if you want to check out this island, the code for it is on your screen right now. Moving on to something a little bit more fun, this map goes by the name Mega Room. And like the name suggests, this island is essentially one giant mega room that you get to play a free-for-all match on. Right off the bat, as soon as you spawn in, your first task is going to be to decide what weapons you want to use before launching yourself into the battle area to start fighting against your enemies. Essentially, think of this kind of like a Toy Story map, because you're essentially the size of toys with absolutely everything in the room being way bigger than you. Also, you're going to want to do your best to try and collect as many gold coins as possible while you play, because in the exact same room where you originally picked your weapons are actually these giant gifts that you can purchase using your gold to get some rare weapons. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult to find enough players to actually fill up this map because not enough people know about it. And you even have the ability to pick up the cheese puffs and run around with them, which is pretty awesome. If you want to check it out for yourself, the code to play it is on your screen right now. Moving on to one of the more interesting ones, this one is known as the Pyramid Platformer. And right off the bat, as soon as you spawn in, you load into this beautiful desert area, where in the background you're able to see a bunch of pyramids, and up close you're able to see almost like this Egyptian tomb. Anyway, once you enter the tomb, you'll see a bunch of giant statues, as well as a logo saying Uncle Pete's Pyramid Pickle. And don't forget, 
Uncle Pete is essentially the tomato head in the Fortnite storyline, who obviously has owned and operated a pizza store a bunch of times before. Anyway, the main game is played by actually going up and interacting with this arcade machine. Riddle then proceed to play this super awesome animation of your character actually putting a coin into it. And then the game begins. As the name suggests, this is obviously a platformer game. I had a bunch of fun playing it. I played it for a good while until eventually I got stuck at this one very confusing part. But if you want to try this map out for yourself, the code is on your screen right now. Don't worry, coming up soon is the best creative 2.0 map yet. Switching gears a little bit, our next map is Pure Fun, and it goes by the name The Low Poly Fun Run. And you start off by spawning in this cool little area that actually looks to be a combination of almost like Minecraft and Mario. Essentially, like the name kind of hints towards, this is essentially a very, very easy death run, making it perfect for anyone who wants to check out the capabilities of Creative 2.0 without playing like a fast-paced shooter mode. There are only 50 levels that you need to go through in order to complete the whole thing, but there are two separate biomes, and I would definitely recommend you check out both of them. I know this isn't the craziest or most exciting map of them all, but I know there are some death run fans out there, so I figured I'd include it anyway. To check it out for yourself, the code is on your screen right now. Next up, we have one of the more interesting Creative 2.0 islands, known as Jonesy Attack. This island is super, super cool, not just because you're able to see multiple different versions of Jonesy as a giant, literally looking down upon you as you play through the map. But in addition to that, you're also able to see a giant Bigfoot that freaked me out the first time I saw it. But once the game starts, the first thing you're gonna have to do is pick your weapons or what class you wanna play with. Then the game begins. Basically, the whole objective is try and be the first person to reach 50 eliminations. Fortunately, I wasn't able to do that because there was only one other person in my game. But don't worry, once more people know about this map, obviously it'll be way easier to actually get a full lobby. And on top of that, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the actual map you're fighting on might actually be a recreation of one of the towns from the Attack on Titan show. And if you want to check this map out for yourself, the code for it is on your screen right now. Next up, we have one of the scariest things I've ever played in my life, known as Scary Doll. Essentially, this is a horror map. It's absolutely awesome, and you go through all of it in first person. As the name suggests, you're essentially trying to locate and defeat this very scary doll. I think this is definitely the best horror map created in Creative 2.0 so far, and really showcases how powerful and effective you can make jump scares. I probably wouldn't suggest playing this map if you're super young or easily scared, but if neither of those apply to you, I would definitely recommend checking it out, because I think this map probably does a better job than any other one at displaying all of the brand new capabilities of the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. If you want to check it out for yourself, the code for it is on your screen right now, but by far the greatest Creative 2.0 map of them all has to be Reboot Royale. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about this, but it's essentially the Chapter 1 map completely recreated. So for any of you that may have not been playing Fortnite when it was first released in 2017, this is essentially the closest experience you can possibly get. Basically, everything is the exact same, from the way the chest looks to the exact loot pool. Now, since this is such a big map and the people who created it put so much time into it, it does still have a lot of bugs, but don't worry, they're keeping their eye on it and making sure to update and fix as many as possible. There have also been a lot of reports about players teaming inside of this mode as well, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. I think we can all agree that even though it's only been out for a little while, I think this is the best Creative 2.0 island yet. It's just so incredibly nostalgic, and anybody who was a true Fortnite OG player can't help but have a giant smile across their place whenever they play this awesome island. I do wish that they would add the Zapatron, however, because that is the truest and most OG thing in all of Fortnite. If you want to play this map, the code for it is on your screen right now, but as soon as more Unreal Editor for Fortnite maps are released, I'm gonna make sure to tweet them all out and let you guys know about them over on my Twitter account, at home at GamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.